guys, what's going on? It's your boy Dragon of the South, and I'm, it's a continued process. That's why I keep introducing myself like this. Traffic, you know. To give the audio, like I said, I'm outside and I live close to the street, so that's just what it is. Uh, but anyway, it's a continued process. This is a full body fairing removal. So all of these videos are, are linked. That's why I'm speaking like I'm speaking, and it's going. It may be weird if you didn't catch the video before it or, or or what have you. But we have got the left fairings off. We got the right fairings off. Uh, we have the tank fairing off. As far as the left fairing, the left top fairing, I still got this strip bolt, and I'm, I'm gonna get to that later after I get ready for moving everything. I'm gonna do the tank last, but here's the fun part, guys. This is gonna be the cowl remover which is the front piece uh, I'm gonna try to take it easy uh, I, I have taken it off before because I had to do some repair work because my bike fell on the trailer and it broke the uh, I don't even know what to call it the uh, housing that holds the the lamp set the headlights uh, so I had to do some repair work on that so I have taken it off before but this is a very complicated uh, part of the bike so forgive my feminine forgive my uh, the shuffleness. Uh, j just forgive me, guys. It's, it's, it's gonna be a touch and go process, but I will get you there. Um, I keep looking at the bike. Anyway, we got we gotta take the cowl off, and uh, we finna get into that. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Here we go. Uh, to remove this cowl, we got to uh, basically take it off this. Let me get over here where you can see. Uh, basically take it off this bracket here. This whole bracket. We're not taking this whole bracket off, but we got to take the connecting screws. This is the repair work I had to do. Uh, it's a little it's a little whatever, but I'm not a welder, so. But it's holding on pretty well. Anyway, you got to take a screw out here. And you got to take a screw out here. A screw here. And a screw here. Okay, this is connecting to this this piece here. You got to get this whole piece off because there's a screw right there that has to be taken off to get this cowl piece off. And it's one here, this one here, and it's one right behind that. And in order to get back there, you have to dis disengage the whole lamp set from this piece. Also, while you're disengaging, you're going to have your wires and stuff. These are your headlights, guys, so you're not going to want to screw this part up. So that's why I ask you to forgive me uh, if my uh, talking and my camera skills diminish a little bit right here because I do not want to screw this up. But anyway, as far as the rest of the bolts you got to remove, there's one here. And these are all Phillip head, I, I'm a, I think. There's one here and this one I showed you and the one behind there. And on the other side, one here, one here. And this is the um, piece you got to remove off of there. But the other boat is behind that just, just like on the other side. Okay. So in order to get to that, you have to take this whole set off. And like I said, you could uh, take your visor off and, and what have you, but I don't think I'm going to do all that. I think I'm just going to take it off. So wish me luck, guys. All right, guys. The first boat I'm going to remove off of here is this one. Uh, remember it could be done with a drill like I've been doing but I'm gonna take it easy like I said I don't wanna mess it up and go ahead and get in with the uh, Phillips head and just get in there and get it now uh, at this point if you got a few extra coins on you it might be worth it to invest in a, um, a stub screwdriver sets that are the little small screwdrivers so you can get in these little tight places and won't be so cramped and it'll make it a little easier uh, the next one I'm gonna do alright guys this will be the next one but uh, I took this one out already may want to leave these that connect this uh, the cowl to this light piece you may want to leave them on until you disengage it from the housing apparatus here anyway at this point you're gonna want to turn your motorcycle handles to get them out the way uh, again, the, the stub screwdrivers would be best for this. And I may just very well end up going to get me uh, a, a few. Matter of fact, let me run and get me a few because I, I just need them and I want to spend money. So, we'll be back. Alright guys, here you go right here. I went and grabbed them. Uh, went to Walmart. 
these was like a dollar ninety six two ten with tax. So get you two. You might need them working on the motorcycle. That's a bunch of cramped spaces. So there you go. We're gonna start right here. We're gonna start removing these bolts. And then I'm going to go down there and get that one next. What I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get the lower bolt off this side and I'm going to go to the opposite side and do that and work back and forth. That way this whole side is not off at one time because uh, like I told you, you don't want to mess this part up. So I'm going to get this one off and now I can get my hand in here a little bit better. Just, just stubble and release it. Now this, these nuts here have washers, I mean these screws here have washers on them so be careful not to lose them. There you go. I'm just going to throw it in my pocket because that's where I'm keeping all my stuff at. Now I'm going to head to the other side. I'll bring you over here. Hold on a second. If you can remember, I don't have to remove one from here. So I'm working down here to get this one. And I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. And guys, you just remember the adage. Uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. There you go. Now, like I said, I don't have to take this one out, so we're going to go back to the other side. All right, guys, at this point, you're going to run the right side of the bike. Um, you're going to want to remove your or start unplugging your wires that's connected to the housing because we just got that one, um, that one screw left over there. So I'm going to start unplugging these. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You can just pop that one out. It's just to hold it in place. And uh, just push that down and unplug it, like so. And this one, push that down, this tab here, and unplug it. And wiggle it a little bit, it'll come on out of there. Uh, this one, the tab is here. And just push it down there. If you can get it, there you go, and unplug it. Now that's all your wires that's connected to the housing. That should be it. I'm going to go ahead and turn my handlebars again. So we can get to the um, this last screw right here. And we should be able to remove the housing. See these screws right here? That's connecting the visor. This is part of this housing, okay? This is why I had to do that work in the first place. It's a... Uh, Connecting this part to the to this uh, I don't steering column I guess I don't I still don't know what to call it look it up uh, if somebody know put it in the comments below but anyway we got to take these bolts off too before we can get the it's two over here and two over here I'm gonna go get my um, ratchet and I'm gonna knock that out after I get them off I'm gonna go and take this last screw out and that's where we're gonna be. Alright guys, I got my ratchet with my 13 and 30 second uh, socket on it. Knock those out over there. Again guys, forgive the noise. Uh, I live right by the street, so you're going to hear cars and whatnot. Yeah, that just happened. But, I'm on a car porch where I don't have much stuff on. So, I know exactly where it went to. Do it by hand. There you go. Throw those in my pocket. And now we're going to turn our wheel so we can get to the other side. The screws that are in that is your side mirror, so be careful. And there should be pieces in there. Like bearings, so don't lose those out of there. And uh, just pull your mirror out. Now you're going to want to be careful with that because as you can see, well, as you can't see, let me bring you around here and give you a look at it. See this groove right here? Your visor sits down in that. Your um, windscreen sits down in that. This is where I took it off from. Uh, not sure if you can see that. This is where I took it off from. If you can see these grooves sit down in that, so you just give it a light lift. So those grooves don't break. You want those grooves to stay there. Like also, like I said, you could take your uh, windscreen off with, you know, just a Phillips head or whatever your setup is. If you got bolts on it, and you could take that off. But I figured it'd be easier just to leave it on. 
Anyway, I'm gonna get these two here. Knock them out. Remember guys, lift this divisor up just a tap when you pull it out. There you go. Now these are the pieces I was talking about. These little silver pieces, you don't want to lose those. So uh, I suggest you go ahead and uh, screw your nuts back on there. That way you don't, you won't, you can't lose them. If your nuts are screwed on there. All right, now that that part's done, I'm gonna take my last um, screw out this um, housing here. And what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to hold it. What I tend to do is I hold it here so it don't fall. As you can see. It's, it's loose and ready to come off of there, so we're going to get that last screw off of there, and we're going to hold it from the front uh, towards the bottom a little bit. That way we can uh, catch it and don't tear up our stuff. Alright guys, now that I got this screw off here, uh, it, is, it is a plastic piece that uh, is in here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull it straight forward. After, you know, you should already have your wires and stuff disconnected. So what you're going to want to do is pull it forward, like towards the front of the bike, and, uh, you know, hold it. And pull it straight forward, and it should come off there. That's a whole piece. Okay. There you go. Now you see I still got a wire connected that I couldn't get to before. This is to your odometer, your speedometer. All you're going to want to do is pull that back. And uh, the tab is on the bottom. You're going to want to push it in and pull it out. This is the release tab, just like all the release tabs on the other side. Uh, if I can get it to show right here, just the release tab. You just press that in, pull it out, and it release. Now your pairing is off. All right front cowl is off. Alright guys, now I got the cowl off. It's sitting in the chair. Um, still got to remove these screws. This one, this one is the one I couldn't get to with, with the housing on there. Uh, remove that one. This is the other one that I couldn't get to with the housing on there. And remove this one. So, just remove those. This is what it's going to look like. Uh, they all look the same, so I think they're the same size, so I'm just going to keep throwing them in my pocket. Maybe I shouldn't have put it in a rocking chair, guys. What do you think? Alright, we got two more screws to remove. One would be here, but I'm missing one. So, what have you. Don't judge my bike, guys. She got me through tough times. And there's one there that we got to remove. That one fell in there, if, if you can see it. I don't know if you saw that, but it did fall in there. But anyway, I'm about to disengage it anyway. Or pull it apart. Alright, you're going to want to be careful when you take your, your cowl off. Because there's a tab right here that you don't want to break. So you're just going to pull this straight up. You don't want to pull your housing straight up and uh, just pull it off of there. I think I got all the screws removed. I hope I got them all removed, but we're going to try to remove this now.
right, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my windscreen because I don't know why that's not coming off. Okay, I think I figured it out. Screw fell out from turning it over. Um, again, guys, be careful with this part. You don't want to ruin this. All right, we got rivets here that I'm, I think are still holding on to it. So we're gonna pop those. That like that. Just pull it out. You can get it. There's your rivets. Pour these off and set those aside. All right, guys, after removing the rivets and removing the uh, underpieces and whatnot, discovered there's a screw here, and there's one here, and that's why it's holding on. Not sure how I'm going to get to that, but we're going to try. I'm going to use a long screwdriver to just slide in there and try to get it out. See that? Make sure I got it. Put my hair in the way for a second, guys. Sorry. Just unscrew it. Remember, if it falls, you're gonna pull this apart anyway, so. Uh, there you go. Here it is, came out. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side, uh, left side. something all right I'm gonna go ahead and remove my um, windscreen I really just don't know I, I just realized guys I got a lot of strip uh, boats and stuff on here I did this one in a hurry my wife was rushing me one day um, the day I got it I wanted to put it on so I ended up stripping this boat uh, I was doing it with a drill. These are plastic, so you know you want to keep those separate. These are plastic. You want to keep those separate from the others. You just simply remove these to remove your windscreen. All right, guys. I figured it out. Instead of having to take your windscreen off. Uh, which I probably didn't even have to, I didn't have to do. There's a bolt right here that's connecting this, uh, this top black piece. I know it's a little weird, but let's see if I can get it on there. This uh, screw right here is connecting the windscreen part. So we need to loosen that up. Like so. And again, it's the same size uh, screw. Pull that off of that like that. And be careful with your light system. As you can see, I got all kind of shit in here. I'm going to give this a good cleaning uh, before I put it back together. But just set that off to the side or in the house or, you know, away from kids and animals and shit like that. And now, now you can see uh, we got tabs to disengage. Uh, here and here again it's dirty I'm gonna get that scrubbing and we got tabs on the other side as well here and here and um, a screw here you can see the blue or uh, you know the blue piece connected to the screw so you know that you got to remove that and be careful for these tabs here and here on both sides and after I get that, it should be done. Alright guys, I'm removing these screws. I removed one. And they are a little smaller, so you're going to want to keep that in mind. Uh, when you take these out, that they're smaller. They're the same color, but smaller. So you're going to want to keep that in mind. Come 
again dropping the screws it doesn't really matter because you're taking this all apart anyway just gotta uh, be careful if you're in a cluttery shop or anything but I'm out on the open carport so that's it all right we're just gonna lift this tab and uh, well I guess you're gonna kind of want to get this off first this top tab off first because it's I'm not even sure how to get that off. I guess you just push it in like that and pull it off of there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. But remember, you got your tab up here as well. Try to get a shot of that. Remember, you got the tab up here you don't want to tear. And then you got to uh, push this tab in. And pull it out. So you're gonna push this in and pull it upwards. I guess you can go ahead and loosen that up. Push it up. Push this one in. It's hard trying to film this, guys. But there you go. One side came off. Let's do the other side. I'm just gonna lift our tab up here. Push it out. There we go. Got the second piece off. And you got your front piece. Now you need to remember the steps you take it apart because that's you're going to have to reverse it to put it back together. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next video. That's how you get the cowls off. Uh, I had to take a seat because, uh, fuck, I'm tired. <laughs> uh, anyway, see you guys on the next video. I think we're going to do a do the back bearings. Uh, I got to do some research in the tank removal. I don't want to tell you guys the wrong thing to do on that, but uh, I'll point out a few things that I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get extensive video on the tank removal, but if you stay tuned, I'm going to uh, try to work on these back bearings. Now remember guys, this is all my knowledge. Uh, so if the videos seem a little sporadic or a little crazy or what may have you, it's because I'm I'm new to this, man. I don't I don't take these apart often. Uh, you know, I take my left fairing off to do my oil changes, and uh, that's about it. But all the rest of the stuff, this is brand new. I'm uh, I'm gonna paint the bike. I want you guys to stay tuned for that uh, segment when I paint the bikes, uh, when I paint these fairings or whatever. And I'm gonna try to do it with a power painter, and not a you know air tank and a spray a paint gun. So, <laughs> I don't really know how this is going to turn out, but stay tuned for that. Uh, like, favorite, and subscribe. Or don't like it, don't favorite or don't subscribe it. I don't know, man. Do what you want to do. Subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Again, do what you want to do. Drag another south, man. We out.